the Gaelic Plant Hire Handicap Chase will finish me off for the week. Grey takes over for the Hunters. Two more, five furlong, 0 to 120 this one. And Water deals at the top for Craig Beck with Helvelin runs David Robertson. Everybody's four, Padre Hogan. Buffalo Commercial, Vinnie Gerard. Presque Flay, David Robertson. Knight Jedi, Stu Gray. Seven Bridges Road, Martin Lidham. Star of Belmore, Graham Clutterbuck. Je sans frontier for Padre Hogan. Theoretically speaking, Joshua Sutherland and Foxtail for Alex Cherry. Actually, Phil then called in and away. And heading towards the first of the fences is 0 to 120 handicap chase. 13 fences to take. Actually, one of the Joshua Sutherland lower lights in his stable in this one, and a 0 to 120. And he's got the lead. And he's quite a long way down the whites as well. I get to the first, which is a ditch, which they all get over okay. Seven Bridges Road, just the back marker. But it's theoretically speaking, who is in the lead. From in second place, the top weight, what a deal. And everybody's full is third as they get to the second. Which they all jump nicely, particularly Buffalo Commercial, who's tipped up on his both both of his previous runs. They were looking for improvement on that today, and he continues jumping. Oh, he jumped that last one, he'll have no problem getting round. And it's theoretically speaking in the lead. From Buffalo Commercial second. Uh, mistake on the inside there by everybody's full. And towards the back, I just saw him grey again in this. And that's Presk Flay, and that's the back marker at this early stage of the race. As they come up past the big screen. the winning post shortly and then head off for one more complete circuit of the track with theoretically speaking the clear leader by four lengths to Buffalo Commercial in second what a deal on his inside is third then comes Foxtail and everybody's full Helvellyn runs between the two of them then Star of Belmore and Knight Jedi as they take the next oh there's a fall of there is Star of Belmore and Star of Belmore has gone crashed out of the race as they get into the next and there's another one down there it's Foxtail that's gone this time so Star of Belmore and Foxtail going out in consecutive fences has narrowed the field down to nine and theoretically speaking he's about three clear of Waterdale in second Buffalo Commercial is third as they get over the next then comes Night Jedi everybody's full Seven Bridges Road getting a bit closer. Helvellyn runs on the inside. Then the one coming wide on the track is just on Fontier. And then Presque Flay the Grey is the back marker as they get over the seventh. Which so they all skip over nicely. Theoretically speaking, continuing to lead. Over this ditch. Ron Waterdale in second. Buffalo Commercial third. And Presque Flay is now making. A bit of a move into fourth, Seven Bridges Road on the outside of Night Jedi as they head for the ninth. Also, for the other ninth was Jusson Fontier, just, on Fontier, just a back marker, but it's theoretically speaking in the lead by two, so what a deal. Buffalo Commercial, Presque Flair, Night Jedi, then Seven Bridges Road is wider as they come into the tenth. That's four from home, and they're all safely over that one, just three to take now. And theoretically speaking, he's in front. Not Jedi looks to be going well on the outside, though, in second. Presque Flay still getting closer on the inside, and what a deal's not out of it yet either. That one's coming back to challenge for the lead again as I head towards the third last fence. And it's still, theoretically speaking, who's been in the lead all the way. Lands in front of what a deal in second. And then Buffalo Commercial third. Seven Bridges Road is on the outside of Night Jedi, who's on the outside of. Presque Flay, after that one, 
is everybody's fault. I think the Jusson Fortier might be breaking as they get over the second last. And it's still, theoretically speaking, is too clear of what a deal in second. Then in third comes Helvelli. Runs his coin now through with a big looking challenge. They race down towards the final couple of fence. Final fence. They've got just over two and a half furlongs still to go. And theoretically speaking, he's been in the lead all the way and he's still too clear of Helvelli. Runs in second. What a deal is third. Then Night Jedi. Then comes Jusson Fortier. Everybody's full on the outside. He's now coming through the challenge. But Theoretically speaking, in front from Helvelin runs in racing now inside the final furlong and a half, and it's theoretically speaking, he's still holding the lead by a good two to three lengths from in second place. Helvelin runs, everybody's full, and Seven Bridges Road, but they're racing now up towards the line. And theoretically speaking, he's going to hang on and take this one a pillar to post victory for Joshua Sutherland and up the line. It's theoretically speaking, the winner from Helvelin runs second, everybody's full, but it'll be third, then press flay, Seven Bridges Road, what a deal, and all the way back. He was just on forty eight, it was the last one to finish. And it's a win. Well, theoretically speaking. A sixty six to one outsider, lightweight long shot and a nought to one twenty four. Joshua Sutherland. That is not something you see every day. <laughs> Got that one easily though, didn't he? Theoretically speaking, wins it for Joshua Sutherland. Helvin runs second for David Robertson. Everybody's full Padre and Hogan was third, Seven Bridges Road for Bartley, to be fourth, and Presque Flay for David Rawson was fifth.